Getting in a big lead in connection to the liquor gate. This is with regards to the enforcement directorate carrying out searches at the residence of uh, BRS leader K. Kavita. Top sources now confirming to Republic TV. K. Kavita likely to be arrested by the enforcement directorate. We've got confirmation from top sources uh, that she's likely to be brought to New Delhi. That movement expected to happen anytime soon. As of now, K. Kavita hasn't been shown arrested by the enforcement directed. What I'm given to understand from my sources uh, here in the national capital that uh, she will be brought to the national capital here to the enforcement directorate's headquarters and thereafter the process uh, would actually begin. The decision would thereafter be, be taken. But keeping in mind the kind of evidence that has been gathered by the central agency, it appears that K. Kavita is likely to be arrested by the enforcement director. That could happen sometime later this evening. But uh, top sources now confirming that K. Kavita will be brought to the national capital very soon. In fact, uh, in a short while from now, we'll also get you those uh, latest images uh, coming in from the Banjara Hills residence of uh, K. Kavita, where the enforcement director team is going to leave uh, from the residence of K. Kavita, where the searches started sometime late this afternoon. Republic TV was the first network to get you that information that the enforcement director team has reached the residence of K. Kavita, where the searches have been carried out. This is for the first time that the searches were being carried out at K. Kavita's residence in Hyderabad. I'm also joined by my colleague and uh, executive editor Niranjan, who's joining us from the Bharat newsroom. Niranjan, big news now coming in, the first big lead. Uh, sources now indicating that K. Kavita is in trouble. In all likelihood, she could be placed under arrest. Let me also underscore the point. So far, the enforcement directorate hasn't shown her as arrested. But there is a very, very high possibility of that happening sometime very soon. Shavan, uh, you know, suddenly the Telangana election become, becomes, uh, you know, so much, so much, so much more exciting. Shavan, and I'd like to know from you, uh, because you've been tracking the story very, very closely on uh, the liquor policy case. K. Kavita has been questioned in the past. K. Kavita has been summoned in the past. K. Kavita has been under the scanner in the past. So it's not the first time that she's come under the enforcement directed radar. But the fact that she's been raided this morning, a day before the elections are announced in Telangana, a day before the dates are known in Telangana, and uh, if she's being picked up, taken into custody, and perhaps in all probability arrested and taken to Delhi next, and uh, my only question is, does this now open up a bigger can of worms of what is to come in the next few days, perhaps in the national capital in the Delhi liquor case? Are we seeing some more action with uh, the possible arrest of K. Kavita Shavan? Because uh, K. Kavita is a key player in the liquor policy case. Uh, she's been named in the chart sheets. Uh, she's been linked to the people who have been arrested di directly. And... Uh, what does, the, what does this mean in the larger scheme of things? And does this go all the way up uh, to the party which is also under the scanner, the Aam Aadmi Party, which has been named officially by the Enforcement Directorate? And uh, what about Arvind Kejriwal? Is it all linked? Shavan, why has she been taken to Delhi today, a day before the elections are announced? Well, let me... A day before the elections are announced. Well, in fact, uh, Dirajit, let me tell you that uh, perhaps K. Kavita and her entire team would have been taken by surprise because, remember, she's already got interim relief uh, as far as the Central Bureau of Investigation's uh, case is concerned. So she was certainly not expecting that the enforcement directorate would uh, carry out uh, this action in a stealthy manner because, remember, for the first time, K. Kavita's Banjara Hills residence has been searched by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, in fact, this afternoon uh, in the newsroom itself, Niranjan, we were discussing that there is a high possibility of a punitive action to be taken, uh, keeping in mind uh, that the evidence that has been gathered by the Enforcement Directorate, they say uh, that this is strong enough to take her into custody. So the fact of the matter is this, uh, Niranjan, that sometime later today, where she will be officially placed under arrest is what we are given to understand. As of now, that decision hasn't been taken. All that we can confirm is that uh, in a short while from now, she's going to be taken out from her residence uh, in Hyderabad. Perhaps it may have already happened right now. We'll try and uh, get that uh, confirmation also from our reporter on the ground, Aneri. She should be there at the spot at any time now. Once that happens, I can tell you this, uh, that the team is already there 
I've spoken to some of my sources there to get you this confirmation uh, that they are planning to get her to the national capital. So once that happens, in uh, while officially uh, they have not shown her arrested, but uh, net net, yes, of course, uh, with the fact that she's being brought to the national capital, uh, they would be showing her as arrested and likely to be produced before the court sometime tomorrow. But that decision uh, expected to be taken a little later. Now, let me just tell you why this also means more trouble for another person. That is... Uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, because a short while back the court has already indicated that uh, he will have to cooperate with the agency. In fact, he will have to make that appearance tomorrow in the national capital before the court. This is after a complaint that was filed by the Enforcement Directorate where the agency maintained that uh, despite multiple summons that were sent out to the Delhi Chief Minister, he wasn't really cooperating with the agency. So much so, some bizarre claims were made by the sitting Chief Minister of Delhi saying that it is the federal agency who should be telling him that whether at all he's been called in as a suspect or as a witness, and more importantly, himself has given a clean sheet without any court uh, interfering in this entire matter. So, Arvind Kejriwal too, remember, is under the scanner, not just of the enforcement directed, but also of the Central Bureau of Investigation. So it is undoubtedly perhaps, uh, you know, a double whammy here because you have both the agencies working on the same very uh, case. So even if the relief comes in for one, uh, the other agency is still activated on this entire matter. That's the same case that is panning out for uh, K. Kavita. Niranjan, before I just ha hand it back to you once again, uh, I'll just quickly take our viewers as to why exactly K. Kavita has been taken into custody. Remember, the enforcement directed when they began their investigation, they said that there's something called the South Lobby. Now, the South Lobby or the South Group particular, the South Group was actually in touch with a man called Vijay Nair, who happens to be the communication manager of the Ahmadbi party who was taken into custody by the enforcement directorate. Now, it is he, according to the enforcement directorate, who was dealing with the South Group. And the South Group is once again linked to to K. Kavita. In fact, multiple meetings took place in a luxury hotel in Hyderabad, as well as here in the national capital, not very far away from the chief minister's residence. And it is they who basically prodded, uh, they who prodded the deputy chief minister, the then deputy chief minister, Manisa Sisodia, to tweak the draft excise policy. It turns out that uh, there was a change in the profit margin, which the enforcement directed once again suspects is the alleged kickback received by uh, the Ahmadmi party. Well, Shavan, I can tell you one thing, Shavan. Uh, this, uh, this is a big, big uh, political, political tremor before the elections of 2024. Because with, the, with the, the focus moving to Delhi, Shavan, with K. Kavita, who's perhaps had a key role to play, who knows much more than what we think in the liquor scam, if she has been picked up, slash detained, slash arrested and taken to Delhi. And Arvind Kejriwal, a few minutes back, we just broke those details that he's received a setback from the court. He will have to be personally present in court. A lot of interesting developments in the next few days. Shavan, can we say that? Can we say that in the next few days? We will have to watch out where the story goes. There could be perhaps much bigger, much bigger developments.